Hi, I'm Marty Kelsey, one of the hosts of STEM in 30, an Emmy-nominated TV show for middle school students. And it is my great pleasure to announce to you the winners of the National Air and Space Museum's Costume Contest. We had some incredible entries from all across the country, and now it's our chance to share with you who the winners are. I'm joined by Dr. Margaret Weidekamp, Chair of the Space History Department at the National Air and Space Museum, as well as Madeline Burkert, Collections and Exhibition Archivist at Lucasfilms. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, delighted to do it. No problem. All right, so let's go into our first category, the adult costumes. And the winner was Rachel, the night sky, the moon, and Vulpicula. What do you all think? <laughs> I thought this was wonderfully creative and a little bit of a deep cut, right? This is not your usual, you know, Orion or Ursa Major or, you know, the kind of standard uh, constellation that you might put on your costume. So I really liked that. And I like that we can see this visibly from really far away if you're outside and doing a socially distant Halloween. Yes. Nice. Our next category is pumpkins, and the winner here was the Enterprise by Billy. I love that the, I, both Enterprises, uh, both the shuttle and the Star Trek one, and I thought that um, the pumpkin category was really competitive. I was very impressed, um, and we had to give real credit for this being very clearly like a freehand carve with great detail. Absolutely, and, I agree. And Madeline, I do know that we had a BB-8 in there. Pumpkins are kind of the perfect uh, vehicle to make that as a as a jack-o'-lantern, right? They really are. They're really, and they can be so creative. I love what people do with BB-8. All right, our next category is kids, and this is Jadis and the Solar System. Madeline, what do you think here? Oh, I think it's really cute. I love the use of color. I'm a big fan of bright colors, um, and there's definitely no question what it is. I loved having her as the sun in the middle of this solar system. And again, I just thought it was both uh, well-conceived and well-executed. And then the smile really makes it. Our next category is groups and SpaceX Falcon and crew, which is Elliot, Emily, Chris, and Lulu, and their dinosaur, or maybe a dragon, uh, is the winner here. What do you all think about this one? I think it's I love great. It. I love family costumes, definitely. And we see that a lot actually in Star Wars, it's families jump, dressing up as a scene. So I, I really like this. I thought the detail of this was great to really be Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley, the two uh, crew members for that Crew Dragon mission in uh, late May, and um, the vision of that Crew Dragon spacecraft, as well as the dinosaur slash dragon pet. It's a wonderful set. Yeah, I love the attention to detail with the name tag. That was awesome. All right, our next category is babies and toddlers, and Jack as the Saturn V wins it. How cool is that? Very cool. I love the idea that kids are getting this involved in science and space at such a young age. And it's really fun to see someone who has uh, taken one of the museum's iconic objects uh, and really brought it to life. And again, great smile on the Saturn V there. Our youth and teen category winner is Sam with the Kerbal Space Program. And I love how he showed the process in this picture. I Definitely. thought that was part of what really sold this was the sense that this wasn't just the orange jumpsuit, but they really uh, handcrafted that whole helmet and mask. And um, it's beautifully done. I love the attention to detail. Absolutely. The patches really make it for me as well. Mm -hmm. And our last category, pets, Abby with her homemade sop with. Now, the email that came with this explained that the propeller really turns. Um, and so I thought that the, the combination of the dog with the aviator helmet and then the sop with camel with the real turning propeller, that was really hard to beat. Absolutely. Those were some doggone great costumes. Madeline, you've got something that you can show us here to end this video with, right? I do, yeah. Actually, I have a few things that I know a lot of people out there would love to have for their Halloween costumes. Um, the first one I'll show you, it's a surprise to everybody. This is a helmet. So this is um, Kylo Ren's re reforged helmet from uh, The Rise of Skywalker. So it's hard to tell because typically in the film you would see some red light uh, writing through here, but since that's uh, typically a uh, a CGI effect. My my helmet doesn't quite operate the same way, um, but this is Kylo Ren's helmet. Cool. And then 
couple other things if you were going to have some props to really round out your Halloween costume. Also from The Rise of Skywalker. Ooh. This is Leia's lightsaber. Um, what I really love about it is that the materials make it look very elegant and very luxe. There's a nice little um, clip here that you can use to hook into your Jedi belt. Um, and then the last thing, oh yeah, if you have something- That's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it is beautiful. It's, it's, I, I really love, I really love our, our lightsabers. And then the last thing I have here is another lightsaber. This is also from The Rise of Skywalker. So cool. this is, um, this uh, at the end of this film, Rey finally kind of finds herself and she, she modifies her staff into her own lightsaber. What's really neat about this one is this is actually an interactive one. So by turning this, we actually open up the space where the, um, the blade would emerge from. Those are amazing. Well, we hope that everybody watching has a safe and fun Halloween. Take care. Thanks so much. Thank you.